Ooh. Boing, joining us now live from the Milken Conference in LA, Charlie Gasparino, Monsieur Gasparino. By the way, did you read the? Have you read? Have you read the report yet? Oh no, I never read it. Here's, yes, I read here's it. Where, but here's where I, here's where it just destroys, totally destroys all the AMC ape conspiracy theories. By the way. I want AMC to thrive. I like Adam Aaron. Yeah, I yeah, think he's yeah. been doing I mean, a yeah, great okay, job. One of the best jobs. Are, but <laughs> I want the but the AMC apes conspiracy theories have been destroyed. And here's how. They think the only way you could short something more than its float, like 135% of its float, is if you operate through dark pools and naked short selling. And this report said there was none of that that dark pools and naked short selling had nothing to do with yes, this. Yes, but I what, didn't argue that point, Charlie. It, the it, point it, that it, I it, argued but, but, no, was said, that the actual how, report no, no, this is what you was, said. You you're said, very rude. No, but you said, you said, no, but here's what you said. You said that I don't know how you could short something more than its float, but it's so, it's called, it's called common sense. I know, but, one but short, Charlie, I'll end with this because I know you've got some news. I'll end with this because I know you've got some new breaking news, but here's one Twitter, F uh, follower who said to me, Charlie tried to tell you, Liz, you, that you don't know how to play poker, and yet somehow you s raked all the chips over to your side of the table. Okay, go on with your news. <laughs> what, what, what is, is, does that guy speak the English language or write the English language? Go on. English is a, is a second language. <laughs> I, I um, we do have good, good we do have decent break, breaking news on the Bitcoin ETF. Uh, here's what we're hearing, Liz, that this is going to be a tough sell to retail investors. And one of the reasons why is that the big brokerage firms, Morgan Stanley in particular, from what we understand, um, is, are putting restrictions on brokers actually selling the Bitcoin futures ETF to their small investors.